hey it's meg welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing another altered book episode i know you guys really enjoy this series so thank you so so much for all your lovely comments i'm really enjoying doing it as well so i hope to do lots more of these videos in the future so today we're going to be tackling the cover of the altered book and this is something that i wasn't quite sure what i wanted to do with when we were at the prep stage um, if you've seen that videos you would have seen me cover up this middle image with some paper and then I didn't really do anything else because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do um, and I've since taken it off because it wasn't something that I liked and I know a few of you really enjoyed this like image and things in the center um, I don't really like it I mainly picked the book just for this outside bit so I do want to cover this up However, as much as I do like this pattern, I feel like the whole book, it's quite busy and bold for me. And I'd really love to have like a central image, um, perhaps using one of the like illustrations from this book that I can cut out. And so having such a busy background um, and this like photo, I'm not really keen on. Um, and the green is a little bit dark for me as well. It's just not working for me. Um, I think it's just too busy. I really don't like how busy the cover is, but I do still like the, um, I do still like the illustrations and the patterns on it. So what I thought I might do, and we'll see if this works, um, is I want to introduce some paint to the cover and I want to try and uh, cover up this part and I might need to collage over that because it's quite dark and I'm thinking I could introduce some paint on this area as well but maybe work it in a little bit more like distressed or like watered down so that we still see the illustration peeping through but it's not as bold. I really want to subdue it so that I can have a nice sort of illustration on the front but still have the nod to the fact that we've got this beautiful cover, which I know a lot of you like as well. So I don't wanna completely get rid of this. I do want to work with what is on the journal already, but I just want to sort of push it back a bit. So I've just got some acrylic paint here and I'll probably need to um, seal this once it's done so it doesn't like chip off or anything. And I've got some white paint and some buff titanium because I think that will hopefully match the colour that we've got here. So I'm just going to pour out some of this paint and I don't want to go straight in with the buff titanium because I think it's going to be slightly too dark for what we want. So I do want to lighten it with the white paint and then I might introduce a little bit of water just to make it more of a wash almost. So I've just got my paintbrush here and I'm just gonna mix this color here. So I do want to add some of the white to this um, color because I do think it's slightly too dark for what we want. So I'm just going to mix this together and it's like a bit of an old book page colour that I'm going for, which is what I think I like about this. Um, I just don't like how bold the images are. So I'm just going to add some more water to this just to make it a little bit more um, transparent, almost. Um, and I feel like I can hear you all cringing that I'm going to be painting this, but hopefully it works out. I feel like in my head, I've got an image of what I want it to look like. So we'll see how that goes. I know I'm probably not gonna be able to cover completely the like green and stuff, but let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna put it on really, really faintly. And you can see the paintbrush marks, but that's fine. So there we go. Can you see what I mean about the fact that we can still see the illustration? That's quite a good match to that colour actually. So we can still see the illustration, but I'm just pushing it back slightly. So that's the kind of look that I want. So you can still see it, but it's just not in your face as much. So there we go. And especially with the green, which 
is nice, but you know, I, I love my neutrals, so <laughs> you know this. So hopefully that kind of dulls it down a bit. So there's kind of a halfway comparison of those. So you can see already that we can still see the illustration. It's just a lot more muted. And I'm just putting this on really lightly and I've probably put way too much paint uh, out there. So this won't go to waste. I'll probably use um, the leftover paint in my um, in my like sketchbook art journal. Um, I'm taking a course by uh, Laura Horn Art. Um, if you haven't heard of Laura Horn, um, she's an absolutely amazing mixed media artist. Um, and yeah, I'm taking her sketchbook can't say it <laughs> sketchbook sanctuary course at the moment um and it's really great so i will use any leftover paint that i've got and just pop that in the sketchbook just for something to work with so really really light and if i think that i need it darker then i can come back and add another coat to this but i will definitely need need to seal this in so i'll go a bit darker just on the center because I'm not too fussed about that. Um, I think it's because it's an image um, and it's just really dark for me. So I'm not too keen on it. So I'm not fussed. I do like that it says Gardner's Journal though. So maybe when I come back and work on the cover design, maybe we should incorporate something that says Gardner's Journal or something like that, just as a nod to the original so yeah just doing this really really lightly across the whole of the book and just adding really like thin layers because i don't want it to be all gloopy and also if we add thin layers then we can always build them up and they will dry a lot quicker as well so I'm really pleased with how good of a match this paint is for the background so I don't know if you've ever painted a book cover before um, maybe I should have prepped this but I think as long as I seal it um, then I should be okay so if you have any um, tips or suggestions of things that I should be using to seal this then do let me know obviously this isn't really like going anywhere other than my craft room so I don't need it to be like sealed in and like completely like uh, watertight and all the rest of it but you know I would like to seal it so obviously it does uh, stay how it's supposed to and doesn't like chip or anything like that so there we go. And I'm just going to maybe add in some areas like um, a thicker part just so that we get maybe more of a distressed look perhaps. Um, and no offence to the border, but I'm not overly keen on the border. So maybe in places we'll put something a little bit darker. And I know you're probably going, oh my goodness, the beautiful cover. But honestly, I really like how um, this is looking. The pattern's a lot less busy and we're able then to add our focal imagery onto this. And then of course I will do the spine and the back cover in the same fashion. Um, I'll probably use a lot more paint on the back just because there's the, I don't want to get paint everywhere but I'll just show you, there's the blurb and things and the, the barcode. So not really too fussed about those and you can see the spine as well i'm assuming because it's been in the sun it's gone like a really funky uh green because i'm assuming it used to be that color but then obviously in the sun it's been lightened so uh yeah we just want to get rid of that part so if i move this here and then maybe if i lay this whoops lay this flat then I can come in with my paint mixture and I kind of want to get this all done because I've mixed like a specific shade <laughs> with this paint so I don't want to um, have to mix it again 
And I just think that hopefully this is going to create a really nice base for the book. Um, I did think about maybe painting the book white. And yeah, I'm glad I haven't chosen to do that. I think going with the like colour of the cover, so going with the like creamy colour is making this look a lot better than if I'd just come in with like stark, stark white. So I'm just working this in to here. So if I work on this side, then hopefully that side will dry and I can come in and add the second coat there. Oh, that's a bit too, that's a bit too dark. So let's just lighten that and work on this side. So like I said, I'm going to go a lot heavier on that section because I don't need the blurb of the garden journal. And in my head, I'm thinking maybe we could come in with some collage bits and pieces. Not sure. I feel like this is already a really bold move of me to be painting the cover. So you're probably like, shocked enough and I don't need to add further shock <laughs> um, but yeah I'm really enjoying how this is actually uh, looking and this is the thing with not just altered books or like art journals but anything like trying different things so like if I tried this and it looked horrible then I'd be like right okay <laughs> that didn't work let's try something else you know it's not going to be ruined. There's always something that we can do to fix it or to work with it. There we go. So just adding more where I'd like it a little bit more distressed. And I mean, maybe I could come in with some like inks perhaps and do a bit of distress. I feel like it needs some distressing. That's probably what it needs. Not quite sure how to achieve that. Um, I don't have any distress ink. I've been looking at them. I'd really like to try some out but I just don't know what I would use them for. Like I'd obviously use them in an instance like this perhaps, but I don't think I'd use them in my journals. So I'm quite pleased with that. So yeah, I think it's giving it a nice distressed look. I don't wanna cover up too much of this part. So maybe I will have to come in with like some collage of like, I don't know, maybe some tissue paper or so something that's gonna be not as sort of stark if that makes sense. Oh, and I don't want that to be too covered. Just going with my finger there to rescue it. There's a fine line, I think, between also making it look like I just haven't done a terrible paint job. Like this is supposed to look distressed, but I, th I think once everything comes together, it should look um, a lot better. And I don't really mind the spine. There's nothing really on that of interest. So we'll just cover that up a bit more. Okay, so now it's dry and it probably doesn't look the best because we've just done like a base coat. So bear with me. I think we will maybe add some collage now because the center part, I don't really want to add too much more paint. I don't think it's gonna cover it and it might look a little odd. So um, I've just got some papers here that I think potentially might look nice. So I'm just going to test them out, see what they might look like. I'm conscious that it'll look like it's just been kind of put on. So I really want to try and make it not look like that. So let's see, let's grab this piece instead. And this probably needs to be a little bit shorter. So let's just try this out for now just to see. I really like this image, but I don't know if it's too yellow for the book um, at the moment, but we'll see. Got some more here as well. Let's see which ones of these I might want to use. Thinking maybe into the pinks of the flowers. There's also black and white, but I think that might be a little bit too harsh. Um, I do like that one. Let's just corner that for now. These are blues, purples, so we must be nearly at the pink section. Here we go. I do really love this one. I 
think let's hold this against I do like how that image there looks I don't want to add too much to this um yeah I do really like how this maybe we need to introduce some darker collage elements so I do have some paper here that is just packaging paper and it's just that really nice craft Color. So maybe if I use some of this, maybe within, ooh, maybe it's like a bit down the side, perhaps. I always do this. I always fuss around with pieces and um, just leave them there for now. Then I can come back and see. Um, I'm thinking maybe some of this might be quite nice. Again, as a ripped piece. just to add the contrast and I'm thinking this is a bit too tall so maybe if I go like this I'm also debating adding a little bit of this lace but I'm not sure <laughs> what do we think I mean I know you can't respond to me I'll have made the decision um I think that would be really nice just underneath let's just cut a bit there I think that would be really nice just on the bottom of the image you know maybe i'll come back and push some more um of the background down particularly these green tones but i just love how subtle this now is and i'm thinking maybe we need some sort of title like maybe this is where we put journal um, I'm not sure, but for now I'm going to stick this down and I'm always asked what glue stick I use. Um, this is just a regular Pritt stick. Um, not sure if you can get this in the US. Um, oh, let's take that bit off. But this is the glue stick that I use all the time. I really love it. So let's just glue this down. And I think this is one of the joys of altered books is really kind of like testing things out, trying new things. Um, you know, it might not always go to plan, but it's all about just experimenting and seeing what you can create. So I'm just going to add my glue to the front of this piece and then work this onto here so I can create my kind of uh what would you call this like almost a topper image so that i can then glue it down just because i've got a few um layered elements to this so again just pop this on here and then pop that underneath which way did i have it a bit more a bit further up didn't i i mean it's not going to be exact but just so that i can get the general position right so yeah, about there. And then, I mean, the lace, I'm probably just going to add some glue here and just sort of pop it down and hope that it sticks. I'm sure it will be fine. It's not like a really heavy lace, so I think it will be okay. Um, I love how dainty that looks. That's really nice. And then we can pop this here. And I'm thinking maybe we need something in that gap there and then i think maybe just some book page just to add a bit more of that contrast because i'm using a lot of neutral colors here so i'm fully aware that they're all gonna blend together a little bit so if we can add some contrast to this that should hopefully help everything to balance out a little bit more so i mean maybe if we put it in front of this but behind behind the image it's almost creating a little bit of a frame for the image that we've got and i've also got a little bit of this tissue paper that i'm just going to add underneath as well so now we can um glue down the whole of our kind of focal point that we've got and then i'll just go along my edges just to make sure that they are fixed down so i think what this needs now is somewhere for like a title uh, on the page okay so we have a few options here pull this one out because 
it kind of goes with the colors but i think it's far too large um and then this one the blues i don't really think go so i'm thinking maybe something like this perhaps but i think it needs to be like tea dyed or something i think it's a little bit too stark as as is but maybe i just feel like it kind of gets in the way i don't really think it's hmm it needs something we obviously need a title but i'm not 100 percent sure whether we need it there um or whether whether it needs to be like brush lettered on but this is quite a shiny image so i'm a bit hesitant to put any brush lettering over over this or maybe some stamping i'm not sure um maybe it just needs like a little uh quote or something in the meantime let's add a little bit of washi tape to the page because washi tape you can never go wrong so yeah i think this just needs lettering but i'm not sure whether i want to do stamping or anything like that so i think i'm just gonna leave this for now so i hope you enjoyed this um adventure of doing the cover i hope you're okay after i painted it um i'm really chuffed with it i think that obviously we will need to work on the back still and obviously we will need to seal everything make sure it's all nice and secure um and it won't kind of get chipped or anything but i'm really pleased i really like how this is turning out i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one for another altered book adventures episode bye guys